In this video, I'll show you how to make a custom signature for any website with the characters and backgrounds that you want. And then I'll show you how to add color effects, borders, and text. First of all, you need to search and download the background images you want for the signature. I suggest going to Google Image and searching there or searching some of the sites I link you to under the video. You can download wallpapers of the series and characters that you want or you can search for renders of the characters you want and also scenic backgrounds like skies and beaches to put behind the character renders in order to make an original image later. I'll show you also how to make full colored backgrounds if that's what you want instead to put behind a render. You also need to look up the size of the signature which your website allows. As you can see here, they only allow a sig to be this big at the most. If you make a signature that's larger than the site allows, it might not work or the moderators will delete it. So you need to make a SIG that fits their guidelines. Sometimes you can just Google for the guidelines or search the website's rules to find what sizes they allow. Now open up Photoshop and make sure these windows are open. Now start a new canvas and make it the size signatures are allowed to be according to the website's rules or less. Drag your wallpapers or scenic backgrounds into the canvas and fit them how you want. Click down the chain icon to make the proportions equal. Use the move tool when you need to to move an image to. You can add all the images you want to try out and sort them with the layer window on the right. The topmost layer is the one seen in front and you can click the eye next to a layer to remove that image from view. So now I'm putting together a scenic background and a one-piece render. If you want to use a background color for your background, just use the shape tool and place it over the signature background. You can change the color by right clicking or double clicking the shape's layer and then choosing blending options and adjusting the color overlay or gradient overlay colors. You can also right click or double click any layer like this render layer here to access blending options and customize those layers as well with glows, shadows, and more color overlays.
or you can use the half moon icon at the bottom of the layer window and adjust colors through here. It creates a new layer that colors all the layers under it, so you can experiment with it too like I did here. Find your ideal signature colors this way. You can add borders in several different ways, but here's a useful trick to make it easy. Just make a transparent rectangle shape, as I do here, and place it over the whole SIG. Now move the rectangles layer to the top of the layers in the layer window. You can use this new layer as an additional overlay if you want but it's best used for borders with the stroke option. Right click or double click the rectangle layer and choose blending options and choose stroke. Set it to inside and then make your border like here. You can change the border colors too. You can also use Inner Shadow and Inner Glow for more border options. If you need to adjust the overlying shape that's making the border, just use the Transform tool on it and that'll be fastest. Once your background images are set, you can add text. There's a couple ways to do this. You can click on the text tool and type your text and then change the size of it with the options up top. Then right click the text layer and use blending options to customize the text to how you want. A lot of beginners also generate text at cooltext.com and then you drag it into the signature. I'll link that site under the video. When you're ready to save your work, click on File and Save As and save all your work as a PSD. You then can return to it at any time.
To export the signature so you can use it, save it as a PNG or JPEG file so you can upload it to the site you're using it on. To use the signature on my anime list, you can upload the signature to Imgur. Click on the arrow to access the share links and then copy the BB code link. Paste that link to your signature box. Your signature box can be found through your account settings and on the forum tab. Click the blue submit button when you're done. You can also upload the SIG and add updates and favorites to it. Go to the My Signature tab and set the image type to custom and upload the signature as I do here. When done, click the blue submit button at the bottom. Then you copy the generated signature code and paste it to your signature box from before. 